Okay, more work on this stupid cube project. It is quickly getting on my nerves. <clears throat> I have not worked on this. I will admit it. I have not worked on this in a few weeks. Schoolwork has just been a bitch lately. This has kind of been put aside and I haven't messed with it too much. So I was gonna, real quick, since I did pick it up again yesterday, I was gonna give you a quick update as to where I am at. This board right here, the one I showed you in my last video, absolute junk. I am not going to use it at all. It is a complete waste. I finally got it put together. Was pl I plugged it into the cube. I thought I was ready to program. I thought I was getting down to the fun part. And blah, it fell apart. What I mean by that, it turns out my design was not as fantastic as I thought it was. Now, I guess I should explain a little bit how this works. I don't want to go into too much depth because then I'll start rambling up and turn it into an instructable or something. I'll turn it into something, some big long drawn out explanation. But anyway, basically, microcontroller, big brain of the whole operation, little minions, all these things do is listen to this guy. This guy gives each one of these a number, a binary number to hold, and they hold it. And then that number can be sent out to the cube, which I don't have in front of me, I apologize. But that's how it works. And this guy up here uh, basically controls which layer of the cube is on at any given time. And so basically, um, here's the problem. These are really cheap chips. These are really, really cheap chips. The only, the only reason, and because I, I don't want you to think that I, you guys that think that I'm an idiot, but the only reason I even considered using these chips is because I got them free from school. That's the only reason. I would have gone a different route to begin with if I didn't have free chips available to me that I could, I could possibly use. So, the problem is that they are not, okay, there's two problems. One, these chips are not outputting an appropriate amount of voltage to supply the LEDs in the cube. Okay, that's problem number one. Basically, all that means is that the, the lights will turn on but so dim that you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. So I need more more voltage being supplied. Two, and this was a idiotic, stupid mistake on my part, and I, I really, you know what, you guys, you can flame me all you want. If you know what you're talking about, feel free to call me an idiot. If you have no idea what, what this, how all this works, you know, well, I'm still smarter than you. But basically, this chip right here is absolutely identical to these chips which is fine, it'll do what I need it to do. But, what I need this chip to do is kind of the opposite of what these are gonna do. These are gonna supply current and this one's gonna drain it, which is fine, that there's no problem with that. But what I failed to think about before putting all this together was that theoretically, if I had an entire layer on at any given time, that's 64 LEDs that are, that are gonna be on. Okay, each one of those LEDs is drawing approximately uh, 20 milliamps of current, right? So what does that mean? Well, that means that I'm going to be sinking over an amp, somewhere around 1.3 amps of current. And surprise, surprise, that little chip can't do it. No way is that little chip going to do it by itself. It was stupid of me to even consider it. I don't know how I overlooked that. So obvious, the, obviously the solution is to use transistors. Even further, stand, most standard readily available BJT packages will not switch over an amp of current. Most of them will only do around 500 milliamps. So I'm gonna use MOSFETs, which are just mammoth compared to what I wanted to make this board. But anyway, those were the problems. Um, 
Also at the same time, I kind of wanted to make this board smaller. It's it's huge. I don't I don't want it to be so big. Uh, so I started working on it, and last night I came up with this. Let me my mouse. Okay, and it is exactly the same board, but one instead of using eight of those ICs that I showed you a moment ago, I'm going to use four of a different IC. This is a much more expensive IC, but, and again, if you know what you're talking about, feel free to call me an idiot. These ICs here that I'm actually using are discontinued. The manufacturer no longer makes them. The only reason I'm using them is because I happen to have uh, 12 on me. So, I'm a cheap son of a bitch. Now back over here, this section here, is exactly what I was showing you on the board that I already have. It's the exact same IC, but instead of just uh, draining each uh, layer to a pin on this IC, I have them going through a MOSFET, which can switch around 17 amps each. So I should be fine. Um, uh, the biggest switch, and this is where it gets really frustrating, in the previous design, uh, the chips that are actually wired into the header pins that connect to the cube Previously, those would be sourcing current, and then the uh, layer control would be syncing it. And because there are really no, because it's easier to sync current than it is to source it, these chips, what they do, uh, these are actual LED drivers, what they do is they sync current. So what I'm doing is this chip over here is going to be the one that sources the current through these MOSFETs and then to turn an LED on in the cube the four ICs over here are going to be what sync them. Now why is that annoying? Great question. It's annoying because that cube I showed you in my last video is now garbage. I cannot use it. Currently all the layers are tied together come in cathode and for this to des this design, they need to be tied together uh, common anode. So basically, that cube is completely backwards. Which means I need to build a new one. Which means I need to buy 500 new LEDs. If anybody wants to give me 500 new LEDs, please let me know. Because I don't know if I have... Uh, the money to buy 500 LEDs. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and, and wrap this video up. That's the design I have. I'm going to probably go to the lab and mill this board tomorrow or maybe the next day. I will try to bring my camera with me so that I can get a video of that. Um, I got a few messages from people saying they wanted to see that process. So I will do that. Um, but yeah, this is a, a, another needlessly long update on where I'm at with this cube. It, it's, it's a neat idea, but it's actually a lot harder than you would think. So, appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. You guys are great. Uh, feel free to comment. Please subscribe. Keep you updated on where I'm at on this. Uh, be the first to kind of see the finished product when it finally gets there. But, yeah, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.